Righto, it's a bit late at night and my voice is nearly gone. Um, but it was a sick day today, but I thought I'd get out here and just um, have a look at this FC-102. Um, and to be honest with you, FC-102s are generally extremely reliable. Um, if you're going to get any problems, they'll be dry joints on the rear antenna connectors um, just in this area here. So there's four of them, and they're a double-plated through hole, and... Um, They'll generally give you the issues. Um, you rarely see a relay fault or anything like that. They're normally pretty good. Um, sometimes you'll see uh, uh, some of the, the lines uh, going to the tuner taps. Uh, just put your multimeter over them. Um, some of them can sometimes look like they've had a bit of heat through them, and they probably have. Uh, so um, uh, the FC-102 was uh, probably one of the tuners that should have said four to 500 watts max. Uh, when people were trying to put a kilowatt through them in the day. But, um, you know, uh, look, generally the relays could put up with a bit of power and certainly everything uh, on the coil was not too bad. So what we're going to do is just, I've just got it hooked up to uh, an FT990 here, which uh, I thought, well, before that goes out to a mate of mine, um, we'll um, hook that up for a bit of fun. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to inject a signal through. We're just going to put a very, very low signal through, about 0.5 of a microvolt. So I'm not putting a lot through there. So what that 0.5 a microvolt tells us is that the tuner is hearing it um, beautifully. So all the through switching is working like it should. Now bear in mind um, when you um, take the power off the uh, wrong one, <laughs> I'll tell you, I'm, I'm earthed. Um, now remember that you need power down the back here. Um, now I'm just clipping on with a clip lead. There's a DC socket on the back of course. Uh, being a slack technician, sometimes um, we just grab a, <laughs> a lead instead of trying to find a DC plug, uh, get used to it. Um, but anyway, so we've got a lovely 0.5 of a microvolt there, and uh, uh, very nice. Now, when we go into the tune range, so we're in the through position at the moment, just in on that little position there. So we're going to go to 7 megs. And as you can see, I've already peaked it a little bit because um, doing this one-handed was always going to be interesting. So with the FC-102, if we turn that generate off, um, let's, um, let's have a bit of a look. Uh, I was going to use the microphone, but you know what? I'm better to use the MOX. All right, so let's have a look at our SWR. I'm going to do this reasonably fast. Okay, so it's a little bit higher at the moment, about 1.8. So let's do it again. These tuners are very good, by the way. won't take much. And as I'm just having a little bit of a play there, one, two, three, four, three, look at that, one to one. Beautiful. And uh, uh, beautiful 100 watts out as well. So that's nice. Let's turn that off. Now, please don't do that. <laughs> I did that for a reason. I wanted to show the meter working at 100 watts output um, and that, you know, it's all calibrated and doing it. Ideally, if you can tune with as little power as possible when you're sort of running around trying to tune your bands, um, life will be a lot better for you in the uh, long term um, uh, not just for the uh, uh, the tuner but look more so for the radio um, you know this is look they're they're pretty pretty good but do remember that they're a semiconductor um, a lot of these old Yasus we were talking about this the other day you know the 767s the uh, 107s um, the 990s uh, the 1000s all solid state um, and their foldback circuits were early days so you know, whilst the foldback works, um, you know, whether it's quick enough, enough to catch a, uh, a terrible flashover that you might get, um, uh, you know, sort of, uh, it, it's, it sometimes uh, components can do some very regular things. So, so tune up at low power and, um, you know, come into this thing at uh, five or 10 watts, even if you can, you know, as you get tuned close to your tuning range, you can increase the power like we just did then, like right now, I'm not hurting anything because I'm one-to-one -one going into a beautiful 100-watt dummy load and, you know, we're getting 100 watts out and that's fine. I mean, I'm not going to do it all day, you know, this would be silly, but, um, uh, you know, that's that's the deal. Uh, by the way, uh, Fletch, if you're watching this video, unbelievable. This is about my, I don't know, eighth bottle today. No, it's not that many. Uh, six, though, six or seven. Mm, anyway. Till Donner, I'm still sticking in there with the water. <laughs> uh, and for those of you that have missed out on the saga of Branson and <laughs> um, and health stuff, it's just been a nightmare. But anyway, um, Fletch, my good old mate Fletch, 
has got a theory. By the way, he got his certificate today, so his license is not going to be very far away. Got a new VK2 starting soon, and I think you guys are going to love talking to Fletch. Um, uh, he's all revved up to go. He just wants to get moving. So uh, I'll let him tell you about what he's been through in his sagas, and <laughs> it's certainly been a bit of fun. Uh, this is actually Fletch's tuna, just by the way. So um, uh, this is... Um, uh, and it was a very simple dry joint issue. There was nothing particularly wrong with it. Um, uh, and even Fletch is learning about antenna lines and impedance and a lot of things right now. So, you know, it's all good things to uh, to pick up on. All right, so what did we learn from this? Uh, don't forget to put power on it. Um, uh, so uh, the, these things function beautifully when you've got power on them. Um, just to show you, actually, uh, I'll just put a tone in again. That's a good point. All right, so we've got our 0.5 of microvolt. But when we go to antenna A and input A, of course, we're losing... It's two relays switching in the back, so we're losing the AB function. So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. Um, you can actually... Like, I can move the antenna over, and I'll just show you how you can do this. So I've moved the antenna over to the B function, so it's in the B slot here. And if you get a little module called an FAS 1-4, I think it's 4-1, 1-4... <laughs> um, you can actually just um, plug yourself over and have another four outlets. But at the moment, there we go. So there's our 0.5 of microvolt again. And what I've done is I said, all right, let's go to uh, antenna B. So antenna A was where we were, antenna B. But not only can you do that with the FC102, you can do this. So once again, we've got no tone. We're on antenna B. We know that's there. I've swapped over to input B. So theoretically, I could have two radios set up. Bingo, look at that. <laughs> this is a good way of showing Fletch we've got it working too. <laughs> it's, called, it's called cover, but not really. Uh, anyway, um, but yes, uh, so as you can see, I've gone to uh, input B, antenna B, um, and, you know, uh, so I could have on here, that's my FT1000, that's my, um, you know, FT990 or, you know, whatever you choose to put there. Okay, like all my uh, videos, I like, I'm like i very OCD, so I've, I've finished off in the A and the A, so antenna A and also uh, input A. And um, just to finish off, we'll just give that a... Uh, why don't we do this? Uh, they, they do, by the way, have a PEP and RMS meter, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, it would be good if I actually punched in. Now, be careful of this. If you have any all of these out, which you can do, you'll get uh, no power reading. So... One, two, three, four, five. Hello, test one, two. Okay, that would be in the RMS reading. Now, as I switch the little switch on the back, I resoldered all this too, Fletch, because it was terrible. There's a couple of things I saw that I thought I didn't like. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. It just keeps a lot more consistent. And one, two. Now, they also have on the FC102, one, two, three. Look at that. Holds. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's a, it's a nice um, situation of different possibilities that you can do with this. I don't like the peak hold myself. I'm more of a bouncy sort of guy. Uh, but yeah, these tuners are very good tuners, but please understand there is a limit to their range. Uh, there is certainly a limit to their range uh, as far as what they'll tune. Let's turn that down there. Uh, the um, FC-102, not bad. You know, sort of reasonable size um, uh, caps and coils and bits in there. I mean, it's all very lovely and as you can see in capacitor there and the VC2 that one there and that nice big whoops coil there etc so look you know not bad but if you compare it to something like the HF Power Star HF Auto Power Star or the um, uh, probably bad example I was going to say the Tokyo High Power because I just happened to get one of those in but actually no the with size uh, the HF the HF Auto Power Star is probably the one to compare to uh, as far as if you said you know what's a real antenna tuner look like well it's a box that's about three or twice twice to three times the size of this box um and is bigger better yes it is absolutely you can get uh, quite a bit more tuning range um still can't do the impossible but um you know but you'll find the fc 102 the fc 107 uh uh you know really all those yasu tuners that were in this size box uh, to be quite honest even the uh, fc 902s the 101 fc 101s um, you know, a little bit smaller box, but they kind of all did the same thing. They all sort of had that touch-up, you know, uh, ability to, um, uh, you know, uh, to make it an SWR. I'm just sort of going to show you something, um, and I don't want to do it on the radio for too long, but just before I go, just to show you what this had to tune, um, and I'm going to give it a very quick burst. Uh, I'm going to have to set uh, this first thing on. Yeah, bring it over. Um, and... I then, oh sorry, I'm on the, 
oh, bring myself around. Right, okay, so what you're going to see in a second is going to be a, uh, we just need to just hit that set there. Right, so we're now going to have a look at the, that is actually not too bad, is it? <laughs> what I had to tune there, to be fair. <laughs> I don't know why that's tuning so well. That's, um, oh, sorry, so I want to go to the through. I'm half asleep. It is midnight. Okay, let's do that again. Uh, have a look here. Oh, yeah, hang on, bringing that back, 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 way back. Okay, and let's have a look here. <laughs> I tell you what, this SWR is not too bad on this antenna. I thought it would have been terrible, but um, all right, there you go. Um, I need to check my leads. I thought we were on a 10 meter antenna, but uh, I'd say we're on a 40 meter. <laughs> so okay, it wasn't real hard to tune, it was it? Um, and there was a reason for that. Uh, but um, there, no. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, just hang on a sec. Okay, uh, as far as um, faux pas go, that was a big one. Uh, yeah, there's a good reason why that was tuning so well. Uh, now let's have a look at an actual antenna, not a dummy load. <laughs> I forgot we're on dummy load. Sorry, guys. Uh, righto. Okay, so I've set that, and that's about um, a million to one, uh, about eight to one. Uh, so that's, that's definitely... Uh, so before when we tuned a dummy load, uh, yeah, I, it did appear too easy, didn't it? Uh, let's just check that forward set on that too. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, so... Then what we do, and I'm going to need two hands for this, I'd say, uh, unless I can do it in the mocks. Oh, no, we might be able to do this. Let's have a look. We'll do it with the mocks. Um, we'll bring that over. Oh, yeah, that's terrible. Okay. Now, sometimes you'll, you'll actually pick up your receiver and you'll listen to it. And you'll pick up the peak. See how I'm picking up? Have a listen to this. Picking up. So that gets you close. Turn that volume down. Now let's just see what we can do with this. Oh boy. <laughs> so we're going to be going back and forth a bit here. Uh, actually, that's actually going quite well. Right. Oh, well, this is a 10 meter antenna. I know what antenna this time. I know which antenna we're in. Okay. So that's the 10 meter antenna, uh, tuning it beautifully. And uh, hang on. And when I go to the through, it just show you that we took an antenna that was oh, eight to one, nine to one SWR, something like that. And we tuned it uh, quite efficiently down to one to one. Does that make it an efficient antenna? Of course it doesn't. That's, that's you know, no, not at all. That's right. I just had to turn that volume down. Um, so, you know, that's just, uh, I mean, actually, uh, it wasn't folding back or doing anything silly. So that's, that's quite good. FC 102, good antenna tuner. Um, you know, don't put too much power through them. Don't go too silly. Uh, that's the only thing I would say. Um, seen a few where we've had to do a few replacements of bits and pieces um, due to uh, maximum power. But look, um, that's all good. Okay, 73 is to you. Thanks very much for having a look at our little Yasu antenna tuner FC102 uh, with dual inputs, uh, dual antenna outputs, and tunes an 8 to 1 station. No, Antron antenna to um, 40 metres. <laughs> so they're not too bad for what they do. 73s, thanks very much. Cheers.